I, I don't agree with it, and I put it out. I put out a, a release that was agreed to by a vast majority of my colleagues. Um, in fact, I can almost say unanimity, except for the um, party leader. Almost um, all of us are, are against it. I am certainly against it. Um, I don't know how you would look at it in terms of, you know, us being scared or, 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 or what. But um, this is uncharted territory. Um, I'm, I'm not into much psychology, but I don't know the psychology of a terrorist. And I don't know if we know enough about the psychology of a terrorist to be able to declare somebody to be de-radicalized. Who, who, who does that? Who knows that? What expertise can declare that a, a terrorist no longer has the kind of uh, intentions that we know that that is a part of their doctrine? So I am concerned. I'm concerned about that. And I'm also concerned about the U.S. Um, and, and them not wanting to, to uh, they wanting us to, to take the risk and not them. Um, you know, so I, I, I don't agree with it. Something like this, just like when the infected ship was, was, was um, they wanted it to come to please and, and we stood our ground, our cabinet, our prime minister at the time stood our ground and, and say no. Something like this is an indication of weakness, vulnerability, somewhere within our leadership system of our, of our country um, that they would they could not be able to, they were not able to say no um, um, to the US. So I have to wonder what's that vulnerability?